Guys, look, today's show, it is Hawaiian style beef back ribs on the Char Griller Acorn Auto Kamado. Guys, so look, my name is Tommy and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. If this is your first time here, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you get notified every time the channel does a future upload. Okay, guys, look, today is going to be a fun show. It is going to be a recipe oriented type show. This is a... Uh, a promotion that PS Seasonings was running. Of course, the Gallery Backyard Barbecue is going to be a couple days late, but I did have this recipe in my mind, and I definitely wanted to get it out on film and get it out there. So look, man, let me turn all the cameras around, show you what we're working with, get these rubbed down, and get them on the pit. Guys, I've tasted these flavors off camera, and these are going to pair well with these beef ribs and also chicken, pork ribs. I mean, you name it, man. This is a, this is a nice summer treat. So look, the first rub I am going to apply is going to be our base, which is gonna be a salt, pepper, garlic. It is the uh, barbecue general. I'll get a, uh, I'll get a, nice, uh, a nice rub down on the, starting on the uh, back, flip them over on the uh, front. Look, it's a little windy in the shack. So I definitely have to play to win. Oh, oh, yeah. That's play the wind, not play to win. Oh, yeah. Always remember, man, you want to uh, apply the rub on the back first because the uh, presentation side is going to be your front. And on the uh, front, we are going to go with this big uh, kahuna. This is a pineapple teriyaki rub that is through the roof in flavor. All right, guys, look, man, so we're all dusted out. We are all rubbed down. The uh, plan here is I'm figuring probably about a five to six hour smoke. I want to keep it under 250, and I'll just let these run for about an hour, an hour and a half. Then I'll bring you guys back. We'll check it, make sure it's cooking nice and evenly and so forth. We'll give it a little spritz, a little wet down, and then we will just let these puppies run. And look, the uh, last say about half hour or so, I will start basting it with this teriyaki pineapple glaze. And we will take these suckers right home, man. I am looking forward to this. This is going to be packed with some good flavors. So look, man, let me bring you in. Let's get these on the pit. And then I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, yeah. So look, as mentioned, I'll, uh, I'll bring this pit up slow to that 275 to 250 range is where I want to be. And I am going to throw these ribs up on that warming rack. And also I'll put a uh, tin to catch the grease underneath. Why not? All right, guys, look, man, she has settled out at that 275 range. And we've been in the pit now for about an hour and 45 minutes. I'm going to take you in. We're going to do a little spritz with a 50-50 water and apple cider vinegar. And also, look, you're gonna notice I did put a pan in there, a drip pan in there. Put a little water to try to keep a little moisture in the pit. Other than that, it is smooth sailing. Let's go in, give it a spritz, and go from there. Oh, yeah. So by the time I was done recording, we are about two hours in at this point. Here you wanna make sure that a rub is set nicely and once you know that it is, I'm gonna hit it with a 50-50 water and apple cider vinegar spritz. All right, guys, man, like I said, everything is looking good. You could see the, uh, the way the bones are. That's why on that uh, membrane on the back, you could really leave it on or score it. A lot of times if you pull it off, those bones will separate. The meat will separate off the bones. So it is, it, it is, it is whichever you want. You want to leave it on, score it. You want to pull it off and try it that way. Maybe get some more rub penetrating through the bottom. You can do it that way. Other than that, we will see you guys in about an hour. I'll tell you, I am impressed what this little auto Kamado is doing. You see, I got an external temperature gauge in there. She is sitting right at that 275, 265 range. So I am definitely impressed with that. 
We will give it a quick spritz and we will take this to hour four. All right, guys, look, man, we are four hours in. I love what I'm seeing, got nice color. Let's go in together, let's check it out. And as long as everything checks out good, we will start our glaze with our pineapple teriyaki from PS Seasonings. So look, man, I gotta tell you, I am digging that color. One thing you'll notice on these beef back ribs, you can see the uh, the meat is in between the bones where dino ribs, the, uh, the meat is above the bone. I mean, we are definitely probing like butter. So what I'm gonna do here, hit it with some glaze. Guys, this glaze is gonna pair perfectly with these uh, with these beef back ribs. We will get a, a nice dose of glaze on, close it down for about another 15, 20 minutes. That is gonna set the glaze and it is gonna get nice and sticky, nice and sweet. And then we'll probably hit it one more time before we pull them off. All right, guys, look, so I'm gonna probably glaze this out probably for the next 15, 20 minutes. At that time, I'll bring you back, we'll pull them off and we'll give them a little bit of a rest. I mean, look, sometimes, like I say, there are no words. All right, guys, look, man, let me give you a little quick rundown on where we are. The pit held well at that 250 to 275 range. She bounced a little bit, but uh, overall, I'm definitely pleased about that. We are right under five hours on these uh, ribs, which is targeted, man. That is where I usually am. And we also basted it out twice, so that is good. Right now, I'm going to bring you in. Let's get a quick look. I'll get them out here on the board. We'll let them rest for about 15, 20 minutes. After that time, I'll bring you back. We'll slice them open and a little bit of a taste test. Come on. I mean, that is a, uh, that is a gorgeous color, man. Oh, man. It don't get much better than that. Guys, as noted, I will get these on the board. Well, they were set for about 15, 20 minutes, and then we will slice them up. All right, guys, look, man, not the uh, not the meatiest uh, beef back ribs that I've ever had, but I tell you what, man, I bet you the uh, flavor is there as I love that teriyaki pineapple glaze that I used. We do have a uh, nice little smoke ring on this bad boy. Let me go in, give it a, a quick taste test and wrap up this show. amazing wow you know look we got a uh, we got a nice bite on these ribs man that is what you want definitely nice and tender and moist uh, you definitely get the uh, beefiness you get that rub that I put that rub on there you get that saltiness and you get a nice layer of that pineapple teriyaki glaze man this is a uh, this is a home run man this is something different than your usual you know salt pepper and garlic on 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 beef ribs this would be dynamite also on a pork spare rib which uh, i might have to do that and of course everything will be down on the show notes look i'll also have a, a printable version of this recipe down under show notes just hit the link it's free it takes you to my website hit print and you got a printable version of this recipe here. Go get what you need. And this is a definite must to make right here. I am gonna bow out of this show. I appreciate you guys for uh, checking in, for watching, for supporting. We are closing in on, I believe it is 40K strong. And I definitely appreciate every single one of you. And until next time, we will see you soon. <laughs>